Hello everyone and welcome to this week's taste test video. We hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we decided to not do um, a haul video this week. Uh, I was a little bit sick, I wanted to recover, and then I just wanted to spend time with the family. Brent was home um, on Good Friday and Thursday and stuff. So um, I did go to Trader Joe's though, and I picked up all the new items. We have six items to try in this taste test video. And since I did not do the haul, I'm gonna be adding the prices for you guys, as well as the nutrition facts, uh, so you guys can see those. Now there were a couple of more new items this week that I did not purchase, but I did take a couple of videos um, in store for you. So I'm gonna share those brand new items that I did not purchase now. First up, we've got this brand new vegan heavy whipping cream, which is awesome for everyone that needs it. Here are the nutrition facts and the ingredients on that, and not a bad price as well. Next up is the shareable shortbread French butter cookie. I wish you guys could tell, but this cookie is huge. Um, so let me know if you guys like it. I just, it was a little bit too pricey for me, but it definitely looks good. And next is the body butter trio. It comes with three cents. We've got lavender, white gardenia, and pineapple bergamot. Okay, so this is the first item that we are trying. This smells so good. I just cooked it up. This is the brand new cinnamon bun inspired pancake and waffle mix. It smells like cinnamon rolls. I don't know if you can. We're all yeah, we're covering we're over here. Still, so. As I was cooking it though, you could <laughs> definitely smell it. It smells delicious. Um, and then we just made pancakes right here. This is the one that uh, we have. So yeah, we're just gonna try it plain. I put a little bit of butter, but I really wanna get the taste of it mm -hmm. um, before we add like syrup or anything to it. I feel like cinnamon bun is like the new winter flavor. I was this just year. gonna say that. I think it's like Plus, the I, egg flavor. I noticed a cinnamon bun theme going on. It is. I think so. this is like the third new item that's cinnamon yeah. bun. So I think that's like the flavor, but let's dig in because I cannot wait to try this. And here we go. Let's try this pancake. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, we are eating it without syrup. I mean, who does that? I wanted to try <laughs> it, but no, I think it's absolutely delicious. And this one definitely tastes like, there's um, chunks of cinnamon. As I was mixing up the batter, like I was like, is that chocolate chip? I kind of like looked at the thing like to see, mm -hmm. but it's actual like chunks of cinnamon in there, which is delicious. I mean, a plain, it's good. I mean, I'm definitely going to add some um, maple syrup to it, but yeah, it's just real thickness of uh, the cinnamon in there. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious. I think this is, I think my favorite cinnamon bun thing that we've tried. Cinnamon bun thing? Yeah. I agree. You agree. It's yeah. really good. So if you guys like cinnamon, um, I think this is will be a hit for mornings. Uh, yeah, morning yeah. breakfast. Pretty good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so next up, which is on this plate here next to our delicious pancake, yes. is the meatless. What? <laughs> I was waiting for you to read that word. <laughs> I know you would not be able to tell just by looking at it. I kind of wanted oh. him to try it before he even knew it was meatless, but. Meatless breakfast sausage patties. How do you even. How's that even a, so this how can you put sausage in there if it's meat? Plant-based alternative. So this perfectly, I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna pair perfectly with the pancakes. Let's see this. Does it come with the raspberries and It picture? does not. Um, but yeah, I'll include the nutrition facts over here for you guys. Um, but yeah, let's give this a try. Very curious. So what is it made it of? It wasn't as, um, what's the word? Uh, greasy, when I was cooking it, like it, not a lot of grease came out of it. So let's see. I'd give this a try. It looks just like a sausage patty. It does. But not as greasy, I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. To be honest. That's really good flavor. If you just throw that on my plate and mm -hmm. never told me, I, I probably wouldn't have noticed the difference. Yeah. That's actually pretty good. That is really good. I know they came out with the chicken ones that we tried a while ago. Yeah. Um, we ate them all. I don't think you were the biggest fan. I think you would actually, this one tastes more I would say like a traditional sausage than the actual chicken ones. Yeah, it has. Good. Yeah, this is really good. And we don't ever eat really make fake meat. I, we like the vegan uh, treeso at Trader Joe's. I would say yeah. that's the only thing. Um, so as someone who doesn't eat, you know, a lot of meatless products, this is delicious. So if you guys are in need of um, a sausage patty, you guys don't eat meat, I would highly recommend this because as you said, it, yeah. it's good. You can't tell the difference. Well, that is pretty good. Hold yeah, on. put some maple syrup all over this whole plate and yeah, you got yourself a breakfast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we are on to the next new item. This one is the pretzel bread pudding. I feel like we're getting a lot of puddings at Trader Joe's this year too. We had like the pudding casserole, always the asparagus one. Okay. And I feel like there was one other item too, but this one's with salted caramel sauce. And this is what it looks like. There's two of these in the box. So this is one and then there's another one in here. Um, which is perfect for like a, a nice little dessert. I just threw it in the microwave and you can either do it in the oven or the microwave. So it smells really good. I'm gonna dig in. Ooh, you can see like the caramel oh, sauce at the there's bottom. There's a lot of caramel yes, sauce. Yes, there's a lot of caramel sauce. Dang. <laughs> Ooh, that thing was hot too. Wow. That is delicious. <laughs> it's a big chunk of caramel is what you're eating. Well, at the bottom, yeah. There's a lot Pretzel of caramel. Pretzel bread. Okay. The bread's okay. Yeah. But very, very car caramely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what makes it good, to be honest. There's so much caramel in this. How can you go wrong? Yeah, this is a real, it's really sweet because you're going to get a lot like, of the caramel. Look at this sauce. That sauce is melted caramel. It is. It's delicious though. It's very sweet. Um, but I think it's small enough where this is the perfect like amount for like a dessert or something like that. And it's really creamy and you're going to get the, there is chunks of the bread in there too. So it's not, it's got like a texture to it. Yeah. It's really good. What do you think I about like the it. salt? Do you taste the salt? Um, no, I didn't get any salt. Did you? Yeah, I taste it. Oh, with salted it's caramel. Very, it's not okay. very strong, but. Just subtle, subtle which I think yeah. is good. Yeah, I don't think you want it to be too salty. Yeah. Yeah, so do you like it? It's okay. It's okay? Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's really good. I mean, I keep eating it. <laughs> All right. Next up is this triangle. <laughs> Triangles. Wait, wait. Hold on. Herbs de Province Triangles. Puff pastry crackers seasoned with rosemary, savory, onion, and garlic. Yeah, I have been dying to try these. I know some stores got them in last week, and I was so bummed I did not have these on Thanksgiving because they just look so good. I love the Herbs de Provence seasoning that Trader Joe's carries. I put it on everything. Um, so yeah, hopefully these are just as good as I'm assuming that they will be. My question is, Ooh. why are they triangular? Ooh. Oh, you have tons of the seasoning on there. You can smell it. Nice little triangles, like it says. Whoa. Oh. Lots of seasoning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like eating a dried up croissant. <laughs> mm. Right? Flaky on a croissant. Yeah, I mean you could put this in a salad. That is so good. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. I think I have the seasoning all in my mouth. If you guys are a fan of the Herbs de Provence seasoning, you will absolutely love these uh, triangles. They are so good. Um, I don't think it's like a cracker though. Like you couldn't dip this with yeah, something. No. They're very airy because yeah. it's like a triangle. So I tried to just take a bite of it and it kind of just all fell apart because there's air in there. So just pop the whole thing in your mouth. Mm -hmm. um, they're perfect on their own. And like you said, you can kind of like crunch this up and put this in a salad. I think that would be really good. It kind of tastes like a, a crouton. Yeah. I would say is the best thing. Um, it's less, it's more airy though than a yeah. crouton. Crouton's more crunchy, um, but these are delicious. How do you like it? Cause you don't know the seasoning as much. It tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like you said, I think it'd be really good in a salad. You're the one that said that, actually. And uh, I said it tastes like a croissant. Oh, a croissant? Like oh. it's like got the texture of a dried up croissant. Oh, I thought you said crouton. No, I, I said a croissant. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's pretty good. I like it. Okay. Okay, so we have the Italian tamitsu. <laughs> Tiramitsu. Tiramisu. 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 Mm -hmm. I should have had that. Misu. <laughs> tiramisu. Anyways, there's a mascarpone cheese. Oh, I didn't know that was in there. Mascarpone cheese. Okay. Lady fingers. <laughs> some biscuits and coffee. Lady finger biscuits and then coffee. coffee. Okay. All right. So the first thing I noticed, this thing is like just bombed with powdered chocolate. Yes, I mean, I just opened the package and my hands were covered in a chocolate powder. It's just like they grabbed cacao or something and they just, I mean, it's covered in powder. Yes. Um, there's two of these in there. Make sure you defrost them because I did not. 
you want to put them in the refrigerator pretty much overnight and you guys can enjoy them tomorrow uh, so I did have to warm mine up in the microwave for a little bit because like I said I forgot to defrost it okay let's dig in very Ooh, velvety creamy you could definitely see all that mascarpone or something I, I don't know bottom? how to say it is Looks the like dog coffee food. oh or is the biscuit i think it's maybe the biscuit and the coffee i don't know i'm really curious to see what this is going to taste like well it's definitely different and it looks like dog food on the bottom i'm Ooh. just saying it's coffee powder in the bottom oh very strong hmm different mm -hmm. i like coffee i think yeah i think he would love that very weird yeah we've never i don't think we've ever had tiramisu so sorry we don't know um what that texture is like or the flavors but the mascarpone is, it makes it it's very light and creamy very light and creamy like almost just like you're eating some whipped cream yeah and then you've got the the big strongest flavor is the coffee like there's coffee powder all in the bottom which is good yeah, I, I mean, like if you coffee like coffee, coffee, I'm not the biggest fan of like eating coffee stuff. Like I like yeah. drinking it, but like coffee flavored stuff is not my favorite. Um, but it's good as someone who's not the biggest fan of coffee and chocolate. I love the creaminess oh, of it, creaminess. but you're the, yeah. So what do you think of it? I think it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's different. It's new to me. So I'm kind of like, whoa, this is weird. Like, yeah. The textures and everything are all new. Yeah. And they give you a lot like mm -hmm. in this little. Like, yeah, I don't know. I can't. I wouldn't be able to eat a bunch of it. Okay, you wouldn't be able to finish this whole thing probably by yourself. So. Yeah, it's really rich in flavor. So, yeah. and like you said, this is a pretty big square. So you guys could probably split it. And then there's two of these in the bag. Yeah. So. Okay, so we've got the next item. This one looks interesting. So this one is the astounding multi flavors mini pretzels. They are covered in various chocolates and sweet coatings with drizzles, sprinkles, and bits and pieces. So it looks like there's four different types of pretzels in here. We've got the peanut butter candy covered and topped with Jojo cookie bits and assorted chocolate gem. Okay, we've got the coffee candy covered and topped with dark chocolate drizzle, milk chocolate covered, topped with rainbow parcels, and dark chocolate covered and topped with, ooh, peppermint candy pieces. I think I've seen this. Yeah, this is really cool. So it's a box. And then we've got the four different bags of pretzels, which is really cool. Look at this. One, two, three, four. I guess that is cool. That is really cool. I mean, you can like gift this to somebody, like bring it to different uh, parties and stuff. You could put this out on the counter. That's really cool. I don't remember the price. I'm guessing $7.99, but I will have it up here uh, to let you guys know, which I think is pretty good. I mean, four individually wrapped pretzels. Yeah. Not bad at all. So we've got a lot to try. You ready? I am. Let's okay. Best first. It's got little M&Ms on it. And this one's peanut butter too. And it's peanut butter. Mm -hmm. okay. Try it. Okay. I do wish these were resealable, but that's just because we're opening up all of them at once. I don't think you guys at home would do that, but. That's good. Yeah, that was really good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I want more. Mmm. <laughs> oh, with the JoJo's. Mm-hmm. It almost tastes like a recessed peanut butter cup. But mm -hmm. you're gonna get like the crunch of the pretzel and the saltiness. The peanut butter on here is really good. Oh, these are really yeah, good. Yeah, this is uh, this is starting out with a bang. I think this one may be the best one. I agree. <laughs> oh, you can have them all. It's okay. Good. I have three other bags. <laughs> okay, next flavor is the coffee candy covered and topped with dark chocolatey drizzle. Uh oh. You just said I'm not the biggest fan of coffee flavored stuff. These ones are nice though. They look like a zebra. They're striped. These are pretty good too. Yeah, these are all really good. The coffee flavor is very light. Yeah. Which I like. Nothing like the tiramisu. The tiramisu was very coffee forward. Uh, this one just has a very light coffee flavor, which is perfect for me. Definitely. I mean, I like this one. It's really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. We are gonna try the milk chocolate covered and
topped with rainbow perils. Okay, so I think this is the most plain of the of the ones that we tried so far. Just milk really chocolate. Weird. Why did they put the word and in there? Look, milk chocolate covered and topped with rainbow perils. Why not just milk chocolate covered topped with rainbow perils? I don't know, I think the and kind of makes more sense. Ooh, they're all so pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell the sun is kind of washing it out, but they're all really pretty. This would be perfect to put out on a dish. So it's got those little animal cracker oh. sprinkles on it. Mm-hmm. like them. Definitely my least favorite of the three, just because these are the most plain. Yeah. It's just a chocolate covered pretzel with some sprinkles on it. But it's good still. It's just my least favorite of the three. And these sprinkles are very hard. Mm. Yeah. They're good though. I love the variety of this box. It's perfect. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got the last one to try. These ones are the dark chocolate covered and topped with peppermint candy. Peppermint is my favorite. So let's see if these ones will be my favorite as well. Okay, there we go. Got some crushed uh, peppermint on there, you can tell. I don't know about this one. Mmm. Oh. Least favorite. <laughs> you don't like peppermint, right? You like a little bit of it. Yeah, but this is very pepperminty. It has a dark chocolate on there too, which I don't know. I think it's better with dark chocolate. You like, yeah. Got a very strong peppermint flavor. You need something dark chocolate strong. Okay. To match it. Okay. I don't know. I love the peppermint. I'm just not a big fan of the dark. I don't know. The dark chocolate is very strong on this one for me. And as someone who doesn't like dark chocolate, it kind of takes it away. I, if it was milk chocolate and peppermint, I think this one would be uh, one. I don't know. The first two are still my favorite. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Um, but I think I almost like the milk chocolate and sprinkle one better just because I like milk chocolate better. But if you love peppermint and dark chocolate, I think you'll like this one because the peppermint's really good. I like that flavor. It's still pretty good, though. Yeah, all of these flavors have been really good. Which one um, is your favorite? Uh, by far the peanut butter. Yes. Yeah, it, it kind of went in order. Like yeah. it actually, I think we did it in order. The yeah. peanut butter one was our favorite, followed by the coffee one. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say yeah. Then the milk chocolate one, and this is our least favorite. So we did it. Yeah, in, yeah we did it in order. That's funny, and we all agreed too yeah. in the order. So, but this is a great um, item. I love that they're all individually wrapped, and they were all really good too. So. Okay, so that was all the items that we had to try this week. Uh, do you have a favorite? Well, I'm gonna have to go with those delicious pretzels. That was your number one? Yes, it was. Oh, okay. And then what was your number two? The pancakes. The pancakes, yes. Yeah. I agree, those pancakes were delicious. I would say that's probably my number one is the pancakes. I could definitely see us repurchasing them. Um, and then I really liked the crackers. That would be my number two is the, I'm a cracker person. What can I say? I love it. Um, I'm not as like a sweet person. Um, but what was your favorite dessert of the two? The tiramisu or the pudding? I'm gonna go with the tiramisu. Okay, okay. But I will admit the bottom of the tiramisu kind uh -huh. of bugs me. Like just the look and texture of it. Oh, okay. It's weird. But I but like you the like taste. the taste, yeah. okay. And then the pudding was my favorite of the two. Um, so yeah, you can't go wrong. They were both really good. Uh, we did not have a single miss this week. Uh, everything was really good. Yeah. So yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.